Yo, what's up and welcome back. Check this out. This is <laughs> over the top. This is uh, the latest edition from ID Venture. Uh, they make these really amazing, cool looking puzzles and currently they are live on Kickstarter already at like $200,000 with almost a month left. Uh, so if you want to go pledge, like these guys have done this before, so you don't need to worry about this. Like you'll get your puzzles. And the fun thing is there's actually two. Uh, there's this one, which is the labyrinth. So they're mixing magic and science. As you can see, it's encased in this plastic, which is really cool looking. The other one, which we will not be doing today is this one, which is equally cool looking. This one is uh, the Knights of the Round Table. And today, oh, smells like burnt wood. Smells really good actually, smell that. Smells nice, right? You get an extra smell, eh? Free of charge. But yeah, this box is not the final box, it's like a prototype box, but they sent me one to solve on the channel so you guys can uh, you guys can go ahead and leave a like is what you can do and subscribe to the channel. Without any further ado, let's get into it. Here it is, the much anticipated um, sequel to the Clue Box puzzles. Um, they do quite well on Kickstarter, as I mentioned, and you might want to go check it out. Uh, let me give you a quick tour of all the sides here. There's a lot going on in this puzzle. So, and, and by the way, this is a little bit different because uh, there's like this plastic over it, so sometimes you'll get a little reflection from the lights, but it's, I guess, to protect the puzzle, which I think is a nice little touch. Uh, so on the top, we have this. We have this over here. We have this, so a lot of little maze labyrinth type puzzles. We have this, bunch of symbols going there. We have this as well. And underneath we have this. I'm guessing this is for like the, the balls to go into. The balls that are at the top, looks like it anyways. All right, so none of these can turn, but not because um, of the bearings, just because they're locked into place right now. This says pull up here. There's like a lot of little clues that will not pull up. So I don't know where to start. Oh, we got a bead here. Ah, we can make our way along here with this, uh, with this here. All right, now that we are over here, what do we do? What does that do? Oh, it, does it need to go over there? Not sure, there's an arrow back here. It's hard to see, but the arrow is pointing this way. So I guess it has to go over there. There's all these as well. Oh, uh, a ball just fell in there and it fell over here. Okay, wait, let me put that here. Now bring it here, oh, that's cool, okay. Where do we want to bring this? So that stops there and that stops there. So my guess is, and this one here. Okay, so I can go down here. Boom. Now, I mean, I'm guessing I have to bring it over here. Which I can't somehow. Okay, so we go, it goes there. I can then bring it over here. Oh, and now it's down here, how cool. And boom, it fell into, into over here. And now it's here. Oh, I can't bring this down. Why can't I bring this down? I gotta figure out the puzzle here, perhaps? Whoa, some type of math equation going on here. Um, hmm. So we have these little notches. I'm not sure if those notches are numbers. Six, zero. Probably be a lot quicker if I figured out the formula here. <laughs> I don't know what all these arrows mean. Like they're so sporadic and everywhere with the numbers. Hmm. Well, I know this is where I have to be. I just have to figure this out right now. So they have a number, no, I was gonna say heaven. Okay, this one, two, and there's an arrow up and down. It's so hard to process what all these numbers mean because there's, doesn't seem to be a pattern. They're like, they're not even lined up. And there's some in the middle of these. But what does this mean? Oh boy. 
I wonder if there's another another way to go here. There's also this bead that was down here, but I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do with that either. There's this one. Can this move? There's like a spring right here and it's preventing, it's preventing that from opening. So once that goes in, I bet it goes down here and then I have to move this around. This look, this one looks actually like a lot of fun. All right, well, I gotta figure this puzzle out here. I have no idea. I have no idea what I'm looking at. I can get it to come out a bit by putting in some of these numbers, but I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. This makes no sense, dude. Oh my God. Let, let me know in the comments if you think you figured this out because to me, this makes absolutely no sense right now. All I know is that this is attached to these down here. That's it. That's what I know. Maybe it's like a Sudoku where there's like a number missing. So you have, I mean, I don't know. One and two and then zero, six, five, four, three. So that'd be like one. I'm absolutely stumped right now. This is so confusing. <laughs> I can't, I have no idea what, what I'm looking at. No clue. Oh, here we go. Maybe something like this. This would make sense, right? Right? I mean, this definitely has something to do with it, but what? I don't know. Maybe this way? How many rows do we have here? One, two. Like these rows aren't even equal. These rows are, these rows are not. But sideways they're equal. One, two, three, four, five. All right, so I've, I've managed to fit this piece in, but it doesn't open. Um, I'm wondering if there's another way to fit it in. Maybe if I flip it around, it doesn't look like that would work. What about this way? The only way I managed to fit it in was this little chunk here would go there. But yeah, alas, it doesn't work. Um, hmm. Really is no other way to, really is no other way to put this piece in here. How sure am I that this piece is meant for this? I mean, it has to be, right? <clears throat> Maybe it'll give me a clue to some numbers. Maybe that's what I need to be looking for. Maybe the squares need to line up with some of these numbers. It gives me like a path. And why this little notch? For sure it fits somewhere. Now this piece doesn't move at all. It used to shift a little bit. So I've gotten it to a point where I can shift it open like that. I don't know if that's enough for the bead to go through. No. I'm just kind of shimmying my way through right now because I don't see the point of this. Oh, there we go. All right, well, we forced our way through this one. I didn't understand what this was for. <laughs> Eventually found the answer. I mean, we carry on. Now I see the bead through here. Not sure where that bead's supposed to go. My guess is it has to drop through here. S seems like a dead end this way. It's kind of stuck in there now. I'm fairly certain it has to drop down to here. Seems to be like a magnet or something holding it there. It's not moving. All right, I think I found something. In order for this small ball, because there's no place for this ball to go to, so I always thought that was weird, but then I looked at the knobs. The knobs are turned a certain way that allows this bead to travel freely. Each knob individually has a different texture on the top. See this one's solid. This one has two ripples, two ripples, three ripples, solid, and three ripples. This is a symbol of all of these things. There are six of these, six of these. I have to place these the way these are placed. So let's let's try that out because that ball is definitely stuck there uh, due to some magnetic force. So the thing is I have one 
Are they all different? Oh yeah, this one has a hole on the side of it, like this one. Ah, so they're all different. Uh, so this one has a hole and, and it's, and the hole is on that side. So this one has to be here. Okay. The other solid one is this one with the notch because it has a tiny little notch in that one there. So that's this one and this notch has to be on this side here. Clever. Okay. The double one is this one. This one should be like this. There are two double ones. Oh, that one's this one. Sorry. That has to be this way. This double one is this one. And it has to be this way. The triple one has to be this way. And then this one has to be like that. Now that should work. I'm just gonna double check, make sure everything's lined up, but that should, oh, it did drop. Didn't drop all the way, but it did drop through. I think it's the, just the bottom one, the bottom most one. Okay, so it did drop. We just have to figure out why it's not going further because they're all pretty much lined up where they're supposed to be. Now, I don't understand why it's getting stuck right now because literally all of these are exactly how they're supposed to be. And that bead still seems to be stuck like halfway down right about here on these two which is strange because seems everything seems to be in order. I really hope there's not a flaw in the design here because I was, I was having so much fun. Uh, but I mean, the thing's stuck. I can't, uh, I can't unstick it. I am lined up exactly the way these are here. That's such a cool mechanism. What a cool sequence to follow for that ball to come down here. But uh, I followed all the things here and it didn't work. And then I went one by one and just kind of brute forced it, turned, one, turned, and then eventually it fell. So there's something wrong, I think, in the mechanism. That's my theory anyways, that something is wrong here because I did follow this exactly, double, triple checked, and then started brute forcing it. And what I mean by brute force is really uh, twisting once, turning this whole thing, twisting another time, turning this whole thing until it fell through. And now it's fallen through. And here we are on the other side, so. Okay, this is where it gets this is where it gets fun, I guess. Oh. Oh my goodness, it drops down a level and I can go over it now. Bring it back out. Oh, now it's fallen. Oh, it's down here. It's right here. It's really hard to see all these little components. Oh. It's unfortunate because I have to tilt it this way for it to lean up against the plastic here. Now it's here. This is actually really fun, this part. So I've got to get it here. Oh, got it. It's now fallen through here. We are over here. Remember this one here, we could not push it because of that. So my guess is, this is very tactile. My guess is I have to put it here so that both can press and then this one can drop. So I'm trying to just find that balancing point. 
There we go. Now I've pressed it here. Now this one is free to roll down. My goodness, that is so cool. But now we've got two here. Hold on a second, we've got two here now. And where, where do we go from here? Oh, that one needs to come here like this, like this. But what does that do? That unlocks something. What does that unlock? You see that this hinge right here is like pulled up and this is attached to something else. This here, haha. -ha. So this is a lever that detaches that side. Now that that side is detached, what does this do? Oh. That is clearly that. And that is like this. Oh my god. It's it's a bit of a challenge getting all the bearings on the outside. Normally a spin move would allow me to do that, but spinning this puzzle proves to be quite difficult. Okay. I think we've completed all the sides really, right? Yeah. All the sides have been completed, so now it's just a matter of getting these out of the way somehow. How am I going to solve this problem here? This is <laughs> this is really a pain in the neck. It's just these two now. So close. Maybe there's something I'm missing. Like, why would this come out? Is this just to prevent that final move from happening? Or is there something else? So you've got arrows going this way and you've got arrows going this way. So this turns inwards. Maybe this turns outwards. Maybe there's something, some layer here that turns on the outside. Let's have a look around real quick. We'll see if there's anything that can give us some insight into this. Why would this, why would these arrows be out here? I don't understand this part. Very tricky. There's gotta be some other mechanism. Does this whole thing rotate? Of course not, it's attached. Is hook used somehow? All right, I guess I'm just gonna try and balance them. This is impossible. It's impossible. There's too many beads, too many directions. Just the bottom left. Come on, no, no, no. These ones here seem to have a harder time staying where they wanna be, so I'm gonna start with those make my way around we're good right now just the bottom two come on Oh, I got it. Oh my goodness. What a test of dexterity. Oh my God. And what is in here? What is in here? What is this? Spin to join Sentia Club. It's a spinning top. Let's see what's revealed with this spinning top. What does that mean? I don't understand. Is this supposed to replace a part here somewhere? I mean, it doesn't seem like it would fit anywhere, so I guess I am now officially part of the club. Well, there you have it, folks. That is the Clue Box Labyrinth puzzle, and it was phenomenal. Fantastic. So much fun. Following multiple beads. I mean, the brains behind this, guys, is really something to be admired. If, um... If you're into tactile labyrinth style puzzles, maze puzzles, this is definitely for you. Even knowing the uh, full solve and not even like the full solve because this I didn't figure out. This part here I figured out, but it didn't work. So I guess there's a few things that they're still kind of working out, but this, I, I would love to know what this was for. 
Um, everything else was so well made, so well thought of, uh, such a joy, such a pleasure, uh, you know, finishing this, and especially that satisfying last part of, of balancing everything perfectly really makes it all come together. So in terms of difficulty, I would give this like an eight out of 10, but in terms of enjoyment, probably an eight as well. Uh, so much fun. Well, hot dang, there you have it. That is the Labyrinth Puzzle Solved. Total solve time of about 45 minutes to an hour. So again, level difficulty, probably seven or eight. Very enjoyable, except for those one or two hiccups, uh, but that's probably my fault, uh, you know, knowing me, it probably isn't the creator at all. And I'm just uh, throwing shade for no reason, but it's actually not shade. This is a great, great puzzle. It's so much fun. And they have such a crazy engineering team behind their puzzles. There's always something new to discover with these types of puzzles, something, some new challenge that I haven't seen yet in a puzzle. So if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and leave a like, check out the Kickstarter link below, and we'll see you on the next video. Peace.